I had did a video about Renee Lindell Tate when she uh, stole, I said, from Anaheim. Maybe she did, but it was my mistake. It was the City of Commerce. She had stole from the Tommy Hilfiger store on Father's Day between noon and 2 p.m. And I know because I saw her and uh, she was stealing out of the store. That's what she does for a living. She don't have any money. She broke. She's a hoe. She take EBT like on God. And I don't lie about anything. I'm very truthful and blunt. And if folks got stuff to say about me, I might as well go on and put the truth out there about others. See, why they spreading lies on me, I'm putting the truth out there on them. That part. That's the difference between me and them. But I'm not doing it to slander her name. I'm just putting the truth out there because people out there are saying I'm this and I'm that. But it's no proof or evidence. But with this heifer, if the police stop her, they going to see all kind of stolen goods. Yes, sir. And she always trying to get name brand stuff because she can't afford it. But she want to keep up with the Joneses. And it just makes no sense to me. This idiot, she met her match coming against me because she don't even know. She don't even know all the things she thinks she got planned for me and in store for me, honey. It's coming to you and some. And you already been through it. So don't play no games like I don't know. I'm spiritual too. Keep that in mind. But I'm not here for evil. I'm here for the good of humanity, for the better of humanity, and to raise the vibrations and the frequency waves of humanity, and to keep God in the equation. Yes, sir. And that's what I do. But I'm nobody's pushover. No, sir. And if you decide for no reason to step on my toes, <laughs> I'm going to decide to step back on yours. So in saying that, she had stowed from the City of Commerce, from the Tommy Hilfiger store, like I said, between 12 and 2 p.m. on a Sunday. It was Father's Day in particular. I remember because she was stalking me and chasing me down as I was coming from the City of Commerce. So obviously she was stalking me. And as she's doing still today, her and her crew of friends, who are low vibrational, silly, dingy, slow females, and males that are involved yes sir but it's okay because game is over for this idiot and her crew but at the end of the day i'm not worried about it never was and never will be i'm never gonna fear a man my equal humanity heck no only person i fear is god that part and if i die now rebirth for real for real but if i could i pick the world up and i drop it on they freaking head yeah, but I'm going to stay positive, though. But I just wanted to put that out there, hoping the police can hear it is, or somebody from um, the Hill Figure store, because my video is public. So if you work at the Tommy Hill Figure store in the City of Commerce at the Outlet Center there, check your video between 12 and 2 p.m. You'll see two black females, one short one that's about 50 years old, weighing like 200 pounds. Cause she eat everything with one short leg and one longer leg because she handicapped because she just a weird crazy bitch oh sorry excuse my language but hey i tell the truth on the daily it's facts she's a kook and her crew of people and um she came in there with some tall crackhead looking female who younger than her about five three to five six um probably anywhere from 25 to 30 years old at least that's kind of what she looked like she looked a little younger than the uh, fat 50 year old which is Renee Lindell Tate. And um, I believe that girl who she was with, her name was Tamika, but I'm not really sure on that one. But yeah, they were together harassing me, stalking me. She threatened my life, said she gonna kill me. My dude was with me, so I have a witness to everything. And he's willing to put the truth out there if he needs to. And he told me how she tried to solicit him with sex and told him all kind of lies about me and said everything that she's doing, I was doing, and said we should um, fix her. You know, let's have sex and all these things. And he told her, no, he loved me and he didn't do it. And I'm grateful to that. And if he did do it, then hey, that's between him and God and his karma. 